Hello everyone, this is Jonathan from Resale World Technical Support, and this is a video on how to link your Shopify listings to Facebook. There are a few prerequisite things that we do have to set up, so the first thing we're going to do is go into our inventory module. Then we're going to click on Setup, Categories, and Attribute Types. So from here, we're actually going to add a new attribute. And this is going to control whether something's going to go to Instagram, Facebook. For the purposes of this video, we're going to be going over Facebook. From here, we're going to click the Add button. And the attribute type will be called something like Social Media. Then we're going to go find the Social Media attribute we just created. should be towards the bottom here near the S's. And we're going to add a couple of attribute values, three to be exact. Uh, so we'll just click the Add button. I'm going to type in Facebook as the first one. The next one I'm going to type in is probably Instagram, if I'm going to be using Instagram. And then if I want an item to be listed to both Facebook and Instagram in the future, I can add another attribute called Facebook and Instagram. And really all this does is control whether we want this item or whether this item is going to end up on Facebook, Instagram, or both. And uh, I know some stores would prefer that it doesn't. there's an item that might not be going to either of these options. So this kind of gives you control over liberty as to whether or not this is going to go into the right place or not. So we're going to go ahead and click the OK button. Next thing we're going to do is go into Setup, Categories, Category Editor. And now we just add that attribute to each of our top levels. So that way it just trickles down to all the lower levels. So I'm going to start with women's apparel here. And then we'll add a attribute value here. And this one we're going to look for is uh, social media, which is the one we just created. And those are our values. We click OK. And it's going to be a standard attribute kind. We don't want it to show up in the title. Uh, we click OK. And then I'm just going to move this up a little bit because it's pretty important in my list. So I'm going to move it up to underneath color, perhaps. All right, and then you would just go through all the other categories that you need that added to and just add them. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to leave it under women's apparel because that's the only one I'm going to be testing. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And that's it for the Liberty side of things. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. Next, we have to go to your Facebook business page. Uh, so we click on a new tab. We'll go into Facebook. You're going to sign in if you need to sign in. And then uh, for me, I'm just going to go to my business page. I'm just going straight to that page by searching for it. You'll notice that once you're signed in, you'll have access to the admin panel immediately. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go to settings at the top right. Then we want to go to templates and tabs which is in the left menu. Now we're going to add a tab. And the one we're interested in is the shop tab. So I'm going to go ahead and click add tab and then close. Now that's a pretty important tab for me. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that towards the top. I'll probably put that right after the about or before the about. And that's it. So if you do not do this and you link your items to Facebook, you, you, the customer will not be able to actually see your shopping area. It's very important that this step is followed. So one other thing I want to do is I'm going to click on the page button at the top left. And then where the shop now button is, we're just going to click on it once. And we're going to control what that button actually does. So what do we want the people to see? We want them to go to, we want them to see shop with you. Uh, we want them to see a shop now button. We're going to click Next, and then we want them to shop on our page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that option there, and then Finish. So if you get an error like this where it says there was an issue processing your request, please try again. Just hit the X button at the very top right. Now we're going to go into our back end for Shopify. I'm going to open up a new tab. I'll type out my URL, and then we'll do forward slash admin at the end, and then hit Enter. Once we get onto our admin page, uh, from here we're going to go ahead and add the Facebook sales channel. We do that by clicking the plus symbol 
to the right of the sales channel area on the left. Now uh, we click on the plus symbol next to the Facebook shop. From here we're going to connect our Facebook account and we do that by clicking on the connect account here. If we are signed in, it will go ahead and link to our current Facebook account. If not, it will actually ask you to sign in. Make sure that you do not sign into your personal account. It has to be the one that has your business page on it. So right now, mine's already signed in. I'm just going to click Continue as me. And then here's the page that I want it to link to. It should be your store page. And then we're going to click the Next button. So by default, it's going to manage your pages. You do want it to do that, so we'll click Done. And now we're linked to Facebook. The page will refresh, and then again, we're going to go ahead and select our State of Mind consignment page, and that's at the top drop down here. So I'm going to click Connect Page. I'm going to agree to the Facebook terms. And then it'll take a few minutes for your Facebook shop to actually apply. You will get an email once Facebook has approved your site. Typically, we can just refresh this page, and then we should be seeing it in a few seconds. And there we go. My Facebook shop has been enabled. Next, we want to go to Products. And this will take us to the All Products bar. And then by default, what's going to end up happening is it's, it's going to push up all our items to Facebook. Now, in some cases, we might not want that to happen immediately. So what we need to do is we need to find all the products that are available on Facebook right now. So I just drop down availability and then say available on Facebook shop. And then if there are any products that we do not want on Facebook that it pushed up immediately, we just check mark the ones we don't want. If you want them all to be unavailable until you specify which ones are going up, we just click this check mark box at the top left and it's going to select all available products. And then we go to more actions and make products unavailable. And then we just specify I don't want them on my Facebook shop just yet. So I'm going to check mark that and then we make those products unavailable. So I'm going to go back to our Facebook shop area, and then it will give us a nice little area here to see what exactly is available to go up. So right now, there's 42 products that aren't available on Facebook. I went ahead and checkmarked which ones I wanted under the products area. The next thing we want to do is create an actual collection for our Facebook items. And that's how we're going to tell Liberty to control which items are going to Facebook and which, which items are not. So we're going to go to products again. We're going to go to Collections, and then we're going to add a collection. So we'll create our collection here. And then for our title, we can name it whatever we want, but uh, for, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to do Facebook. We want to make sure that this is set to Automated, and we want this to say Any Condition for Products Must Match. The product tag must be equal to Facebook. And this ties in to those attributes that we created earlier. So I'm going to show you that. I'll click Save. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to go into our inventory module. I'll go to an account. And we'll add an item underneath women's apparel. So if I want to do a top, you'll notice that I have the social media button here. I'll select Facebook. And that will allow the item to go straight to Facebook once I save this item and list it. And the way that works is the collection will automatically take that tag that we set as Facebook. It's going to pull it into that collection. And since that collection is set to go up to Facebook, that means that that item will also go up to Facebook. By default, items that get pushed through Liberty will not go straight to Facebook. This must be set up ahead of time. One other thing to note is that when you're building your collection, it is possible to add another product tag here. In the event that you're pushing to like Instagram or Pinterest, we can create other tags. So in this case, I named that other tag Facebook and Instagram. So now if I'm pushing to Instagram and I select Facebook and Instagram under social media in the inventory module, this one right here, that means that because this tag will be included in the Instagram collection and the Facebook collection, it'll go to both social media pages. 
So now if I wanted to see all the items that I have available, we go to the Facebook shop. Uh, actually, I probably should save these changes. And then these are our collections that are currently being pushed up. I probably have two Facebook collections. Let me just verify. Uh, looks like I only have one. Maybe I have another one up here. Excellent. So next, we want to manage our collection availability because we don't want all collections to be available on Facebook. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Manage Collection Availability option here. And I'm just going to very quickly turn all the other ones off. I like to just use my up and down arrows in a space bar. Uh, if we tap it twice, it should be enough to uncheck it. So we'll just keep going. And I'll leave that Facebook one that I just created on and turn everything else off. And then we'll hit save. So now that my Facebook collection has been set to go to Facebook, I just want to go to my Facebook page and just look at those items. So I'm going to I'm just going to go to my main page in Facebook. So now I'm going to click on my shop button. From here, they can look at your Facebook shop, uh, click on an item, and the checkout will be on your Shopify site. So if I click checkout, it'll redirect over to the Shopify shopping cart, and then from here they can purchase the item. This was a video on how to link your Shopify listings to Facebook.